Hi guys, um, hope you're all doing okay and you're well and healthy and okay in this isolation that we're in right now. I wanted to do a check-in with you guys and make sure that you're all staying positive and that you're doing things every day in order to, to raise that vibration. We've got to make the most of the situation so I'm here to help and I want to give a few little tips about how to stay positive and how to make the most of your days really. I know we're in a bit of a, a weird situation. None of us have been through this in our generation. But the good thing is that we're all in this together and that we're all going to get through this together. The world is not going to be as we know it after this. In my head for a while now, um, like things need to change, like this whole matrix world we've been living in and how we've sort of been on this sort of that same journey. Like you get up, you go to work, you come home, you pay your bills, you go out on the weekends. It's like, it's this routine that society has been in for quite some time now. And I just feel like something needed to change. We've been taking things for granted. We've been taking mother nature for granted and we've been taking people for granted. I just know that this whole shift that's happening on the outside of us is also to help shift everything within us as well. And this time of isolation is so perfect get rid of the shit, reevaluate your life and just sort of think about, right, what changes am, am I gonna make within me for when everything starts opening back up again and things do start going, I say back to normal, I don't think normal is going to be happening. In this time where everyone's isolating and going within and asking themselves the questions of what life that do I want to live when I come outside of this? We've needed this, we've needed this as a society, we need this as a, a nation, uh, just to get outside of that sort of, like when you're just like on auto drive, you just get up, you go to work, da, 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 start asking ourselves, what do we want to change? What do we want to do to make sure our life is happier and more fulfilled, uh, feeling more grateful? And I know a lot of us are gonna shift mindset of like gratitude. And, and I just think, imagine like everyone else, when they come out, the gratitude is just gonna be insane because things we used to take for granted, we're no longer gonna take things for granted. And I just think it's just gonna be amazing when we all start living again. And I just think there's gonna be a new way of life. It's gonna be a new world. We're gonna be doing things more positive. We're gonna be doing more things for ourselves and stop people pleasing. And I think like the whole society as it was, like working for other people and everything that was sort of outside of us that sort of had control over us really, it's everything stops, it's just us. It reunites us back to who we are, who we are as spirits human beings, spiritual beings, and it's really giving us that time to just find ourselves, not about what other people think we should do, and not about what the government think we should do. It's literally put us all in a little box of our own and just made us think about everything. And I just think it's gonna just change everything. This whole new world, spending that time just sort of writing down, going through things, reevaluating, it's gonna be so important. And when we focus on what we feel is positive to us, any bad situation I know I've been through, the way I like stay positive throughout this, I know people have been saying to me like, you, how do you stay positive? Every situation I've been through in my whole entire life, I've literally always seen the positive of it. Okay, right, this has happened to me, but I look for the positive in everything. So what can I do? I, I know I can't do this and I can't do that, but I'm not focusing on what I can't do because yes, that would drive me insane. I'm focusing on what I can do, what I can do in the moment, what I can do right now to better my life, to make me feel happy right now in the moment. I've said in my previous videos about how important it is to just live in the moment and live in the now. To change our outer world, we need to change our inner world. And I think that that's such an important message. And if you know there's like a lot of things that are like tapping at you, like, you know, certain insecurities or certain things that are triggering you on the outside, it's always a reflection of, okay, well, what is it triggering within me? What is it that I need to change within me to not feel these certain emotions, to make myself react that way? What is it that inside of me I need to work on? Just process it, sit with it. If you can't do anything about it, let it sit there, breathe on it, feel that emotion and just think, okay, well, what am I gonna do about it? And as soon as you start asking your questions, it just expands your mind. You'll find the answers that you need just by asking yourselves the questions. If all of us are doing this around the world and we're all going within and we're all releasing control of what we can't control and starting 
to focus on the things we can control, it automatically lifts our vibration. It automatically makes us feel better because you're focusing on the things you can do. That's the positive side of it. And, you know, stop watching the news, stop watching the numbers of, you know, things that are stressing us out. They want us to live in fear, to suppress us. We have our own free will to think what we want to think. And I know they're projecting fear at us in that negative energy which is where they want us to live we're not going to change we're going to come out this as the same as we was and i just think in this time switch off that telly yes stay indoors because obviously the reasons behind it one we don't want to get arrested and two we want to help the nhs uh, cope with the numbers and to stop spreading it all we can do is stay in but what we do with our time is up to us. And I want you guys to just really focus on the things that you can do. The positive side of this is that we aren't distracted anymore and we have the time now to put in that effort to really better ourselves, to work on our own insecurities, like the body I want. Well, now is the time. The meal prep, you have the time to exercise. Um, you've got access to everything on the internet that you need. Just get it done. And, and if you aren't doing it, accept that you aren't doing it and then start loving yourself for who you are embrace your curves embrace the body you are living in right now because if you aren't willing to change anything then you've got to accept it every day just focus on like positive affirmations about yourself things that you love about yourself things that you're good at you know if, if there's something that you've wanted to do learn a language read a book anything that you've wanted to do that you've been putting off just do it even if it's like baby steps or a little bit every day towards what you want to do and what you want to achieve you've got the time to do it now so although we're social distancing i don't think we've ever been closer really because people have the time to you know have that interaction and i know it's all virtual and i know it's like over the internet but i mean it's really powerful and i know for me like energy is everywhere energy i can connect with you know, I just think of my dad and I think of my, my mum and my, my, even my dog. I miss my dog so much. I think of them. I feel them. I'm grateful for them. I feel the warmth of their energy in me and I can just do a little FaceTime and I'm like, oh, that was so nice and I can get on with my day now. The powerful thing of um, social media and the powerful thing of, um, of the phones that we have now, we are using it in such a positive way. And before this happened, we were using it, unfortunately, in such a negative way because there was a lot of negative Negativity on social media, this, that, and the other. Her people, you know, saying harsh things and not being kind. And I think now it's like it's humbled everyone. Like this has humbled everyone. And doesn't matter what warp of life you're from, you could be rich, poor, all indoors right now. We are all on that same level. We are all humbled. We are grounded. We are the same. And it makes you think, bloody hell, we are all human beings. We are all spirits. We are all one, all in this together. So have this sort of fuzzy feeling of just like, this is going to be good for everyone. The human race is going to be good for the world, the planet, that mother nature, giving it its rest it's needed. And yeah, we can start working on our health, boosting our immune systems, feeling better about ourselves, working on healing our hearts, doing that work that we've needed to do that we've been putting off for so long. And yeah, that is definitely a tip on how to stay positive and how to be productive in this time is writing down things that you want to achieve and the life that you want to live after all this blows over. You've just got to let go of the, the other things that you were doing that was distracting you, making you feel bad, bad relationships, bad friends. Um, you can really reassess your life right now and, and create this new world that we're going to be living in. And just think about like when we're out of here, how positive everything's going to be. We're all going to be so great grateful we're all going to be full of energy we're going to be recharged because we have given our bodies and our minds a complete rest and reset and that is what we've needed to do i'm not going to take things for granted and people right now are looking for positivity and are reaching out now to get help to just say right i've got this problem how can i get over it and there's always help out there to so you guys i'm here to help you if you need help um, I'm a life coach as well, and I can help guide you and to help find out your true power, your your true self, along with my Reiki, my angel cards, and my life coaching skills within the hour that I do for you guys. I can just help you with direction and positivity. Let me know if you're interested, and I will be more than happy to help you and do a little online Zoom call with you guys. Uh, later on, I'm going to be doing some angel cards. I've got them all ready here. Because I know you guys like a little bit of angel cards, a little bit of angel guidance, see what the collective is going through today, April 6th. And I will probably do that live 
later on tonight with the girls. I'll post a time up for you guys. Thank you and I hope you are all having a good day.